Hey everybody, Eric from Around To It Videos, and I've had a lot of requests lately on how to use Movie Edit Pro to make YouTube videos. So today that's what we're going to learn. Today you're going to make your first YouTube video with Movie Edit Pro. And let's go over a couple of cameras real quick. The first one I'm showing you is a Polaroid camera. It was purchased from Circuit City or Best Buy, I can't remember. But uh, it's a basic camera, it costs around $100 to $150, takes good quality pictures and records video in the AVI format. The next camera I'm showing you is a Canon PowerShot camera, costs around $300, $350, and it takes excellent pictures and records video in the AVI format as well. Now both of these cameras use an SD memory card that allow you to transfer the images from your camera to your PC. So uh, that's, uh, those are two basic cameras that you can use. One costs a little bit more, one costs a little bit less, and I'm sure there are some cheaper cameras out there that you can use too. But anyway, Record your videos with the camera or take the pictures, however you want to do it, and put them on your PC, and then let's open up Movie Edit Pro. So here we go. This is Movie Edit Pro version 14, but the, the same things that I'm going to show you in version 14 are going to work for all the earlier versions of Movie Edit Pro. They will all work the same. So now we've got Movie Edit Pro open in the timeline with the timeline showing. We're going to click on the Title tab. We're going to click on the standard tab, left click and hold, drag it down to the first track, let it go. As soon as you let it go, it dumps you into the title editor. So we're going to call this, we're going to use this title and we're going to call it my first YouTube video with Movie Edit Pro. Okay, there it is. Well, let's see, I don't like the color, so let's change it. Click on the color button. Pick the color you like. And then click OK. Now, every object on the timeline will have these. They're called handles. Right here. If you click on the upper left one, hold it and drag it to the right a little bit, that's the fade. Now, we just faded into this title. If you click on the upper right one and pull it to the left, we're going to fade out. So now we've got a title with a nice fade in and a fade out. So now, let's go back and grab a picture, put it on the timeline by dragging and dropping it, let it go. Now you can see on the timeline it shows you right there the length of the video so far. We're up to 15 seconds. Well, I don't want the picture to show for 10 seconds, so put the mouse on the end of the picture until you get the double arrows. Left click and hold and drag it to the left. And when you get it the correct length that you want, let it go. I'm going to show the picture for 5 seconds. Now we're going to go back to the title editor. Again, we're going to click on standard. We're going to drag it down right below the picture. Let it go. And we're going to say the Losi Mega Baja. All right. Now there, you see in the title, it's right over the Mega Baja. I don't like that. So using the sliders, we're going to put it down below it just a little bit and change the color make it stand out a little bit more let's make it yellow alright the same thing with this title I'm going to fade into it and I'm going to fade out of it and with the picture I want to fade in and fade out this is a good transition it's the simplest one and it's the easiest one to use now let's look at this and see what we got so far Okay, that looks great. Now, let's go put some video in there. Left click and hold, drag it down to the timeline. Whoops, let's put it on the first track. All right. Now, I want to fade into the movie just like I faded in and out of the title and the picture. Just like that. Now, if you left click up just above the video you see I'm dragging the uh, the starting marker so I can actually watch the preview screen and see how my video is going to turn out by just left clicking and hold and dragging it so let's drag it through okay well I want my video to last about that long alright that's where the start marker is right now at the end of my video there's two ways to do this to to shorten your video because I've got all this extra video here that I don't need 
you can go to the end till you get the double arrows left click and hold and drag it to where you want it to stop or with the start marker where you want it at the end you can click the razor blade under the preview screen which splits your video now you've got two separate videos either way you do it is fine they both work the same there I just deleted the unwanted portions of the video so now I've got my video with my start title my intro pick and the, the intro pick title I've got my main body of my movie which is the video now let's go to the uh, to the end use the same picture again drag it down to the timeline and the same thing with the video we're going to right left click on that top right handle and fade out of the video and fade into the end picture just like that we're going to make the picture only last about five seconds like that go back to the title menu click standard title again put it down below it like that and say thanks for watching okay there again you see it's right over the image in the screen we don't want that let's move it down and to the right a little bit and it's still kinda of covering up the Baja so let's change the size of the letters to down to about 14 there now it's out of the way and the color again I like yellow alright so now you've got your ending picture let's fade into the ending picture uh, title right click at the end of your video right here for your end marker grab the start marker put it to the beginning there's your uh, your movie with your start title your start picture the body of your movie and the ending picture now to add sound to it or music you can use mp3s or WAV files if they're on your computer just drag and drop like you did the pictures or the movies I like to use um, Magic Music Maker, but we're not going to use that today. We're going to use the Soundtrack Maker that's in Movie Edit Pro, and it's in all the Movie Edit Pros. Click on Soundtrack Maker, a new window appears. All right, you've got several different uh, types of music classical, funky, spirited, sportive. Right, I'm going to pick sportive and aggressive. I'm going to check the box that says apply only to the range between the start and end markers, and I'm going to click apply right now it is building music for the video okay now you see it, uh, it made it a little bit longer than it needed to because the, the movie is so short so you do the same thing with the music left click on the end drag it down to its where you want it on the timeline now let's move that end marker back to the end of the video now we just don't want to start the video with it booming so let's we have that handle on the music down there and let's fade into the music and there it is there's your first YouTube video with background music now we're going to click on file export we're going to export as Windows Media Export now the resolution is up to you 640 by 480 is okay 320 by 240 is a smaller video uh, size or smaller as far as the uh, size of the, the file that you send into YouTube the resolution is up to you. I'm going to just select 640 by 480 at 30 frames a second for this video. Okay, I'm going to select the destination file here. Click OK and then click OK. Alright, you look right up here, the movie's mixing down right here and when it gets to the end of the bar your movie will be made and you can upload it to YouTube. And that's how you make uh, your first movie with Movie Edit Pro for YouTube. I hope everybody enjoyed this and learned something from it. And if you got any questions, just send them my way. Thanks for watching and see you later.